32 countries so far. How many flights? A lot. Like maybe 70. Yeah. Or so. 30 second intro. Who are we? Go. I'm Jessica. Garrett. Garbum. We're the Bucket List family. We have two kids, Dorothy and Manila. And about 16 months ago, about 32 countries ago, like 70 flights ago, we left our home, sold everything, and decided to go on a humanitarian adventure around the world. During our travels, we focus on three things. Adventure, culture, and service. All right, so today's not Sunday, mm -mm. but we made a video because we have something very exciting to share. I have had something of a side project going during our travels ever since Nepal. I need a headband. We had a very special service project when we visited the country of Nepal. We worked together with Effect.org on the fight against human trafficking. We did a big fundraiser and raised $50,000 to build a school. We learned that schools can be the greatest prevention against human trafficking because it offers these girls education, protection, and the skills necessary to avoid it. In Nepal, they have these prayer flags, and they stand at the very, very top of the mountains, and they're hung all over the city. And they're beautiful. I just fell in love with prayer flags. I met with a lot of locals and talked to them like, what are they, what do they represent? I learned that there's typically five colors. There's blue, white, red, green, and yellow. And each one represents a different element of life. If you've been following our trip, you may have seen this that I use all the time. A friend back home gave it to me, and I had never used one before, but honestly, it just became old trusty. Like, we use this all the time. We use it for headbands, we wear it over our mouths for protection, it can protect from the sun. I'll use it to protect camera gear, to clean off my GoPro, to clean off my phone. Like, there's been so many things. So I had the idea, it would be really cool to design my own after prayer flags. So. Ever since Paul Garrett's been sketching, he's been planning, he's been plotting, he's been designing. Uh, what he wanted these to look like. This is really just kind of his little passion project. Garrett always has something on the side and this has been it. Well, because the prayer flags, like the designs are so intricate and there's so much meaning behind them. So every time we would visit a new country, I would try to pay attention to different like textures or patterns or designs that I saw and implement those into my own designs. I want to show him. It is time for this guy to retire. And now... Good job, babe. So this is my first time trying this, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, and we just received these like yesterday. Opened them up, so excited to see how they turned out. We're gonna sell these on our website, and you can buy just one color if you have a favorite, or you can buy the complete set. For us, I'm always gonna make sure we're traveling with the complete set so that we can string them up, use some floss or something, and string them up as like prayer flags maybe on our suitcase, maybe over like the door wherever we're staying. It'll kind of be a way to decorate wherever we're staying and make it feel a little more like home. My old headband for me definitely represented like an adventurous lifestyle, that wherever we're going, as long as I had this, like I could be taking pictures, I could throw my hair back, I could scuba dive, like whatever it was. And so that's what I wanted these to represent. Just like the Buckleless family, I wanted these to represent adventure, culture, and service.
So I had a lot of fun designing these. That was it. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. So I had a lot of fun designing these. I know this is a small project, but it means a lot to me because this is our way to continue to give back to Nepal. We had such a great life-changing experience there. And so if you buy one of these, 100% of our profits is going to go back to Nepal. It's going to go to effect.org and helping the fight against human trafficking. Which one do you want to put on? So these can be worn in many different ways. You will see Jessica wearing it in the popular neck style. And then it goes up into the headband style. And now her hair is up. And just like that, I got a little bit of Nepal on my head. And each one represents a different element of life. Blue is space. Red is fire. White represents air. Ooh, I love. Uh, the greed, it represents the sea. <laughs> Yellow represents land. This is gonna be the first time in my long business life ever selling like a tangible product. So if you buy some of my first products, I will love you forever. If you buy one, you should definitely take a picture with it. Use hashtag adventure band. Here's, here's what we'll do. First person to take a picture wearing an adventure band underwater wins. First person to take a picture with an adventure band on the top of a mountain wins. First person, first family to take a picture with a complete set, all five colors, wins. Your family could be five cats. So we'll start with those three. Those are the first three. First person underwater, first person on top of the mountain, first person complete set with your family. So you can support Gerbom's cool ideas, but more importantly, you can support Effect.org. And my cool ideas. And effect on art. Oh, and another something special. We've started to have some people recognize us as we started to have some people recognize us throughout our travels. It's weird every time. If you come up to us and introduce yourself, we'll give you one of these. Yeah, just give it to you. He gave it to me. He gave it to me. Yeah, he gave it to me. <laughs> so there's only two ways to get an adventure band. One is to click on this link and purchase one. Two is to find us in person and we will give you one. That's the only two ways to get one because there will never be 20% off. I worked really hard on these and I will never give 20% off. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Love